Hello everybody, this is Xenocat AP3543, welcome you back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles. And before we go off, we're going to talk to Alvis and Dixon, just to see what they say. Yeah, we should probably stop that girl. You know, just so you know, don't go further. You can still go back, I believe. I'm going to just test to see if you can go back to the transporter right now. I think you can still go back. Yeah, they're letting me go back this far. They wouldn't stop me. They won't stop you. You can go back, I believe, at this point. But don't go any further. Like, don't go any further unless you're totally ready. Which I'm ready. That's why I've been posting all these trades in the description for the last few videos. Okay. And we are so leaving the central factory. So you have finally arrived. Again. Yep. Stop the Maconis. This might be a, a multi-video plot event because this There's is no wrong. reason for us to fight. You must stop this now. My reasons are clear and truer than yours. Whoa. Look, it's Bionis. Yeah. May the roar of the Maconis be the wrath of my people. Ooh. Good job. You hit an uninhabited part of Bionis. How many do you think died in that attack? Hundreds? Maybe thousands? Echil, you regret this! Brother, stop this! You'll destroy the Bionis! Let us yeah, probably. to our torment! It ends when I say it ends. I will end our curse by destroying the world. You must realize... That is not Lady Mayna's wish. That's why she left us her legacy, our whole world. Pure nonsense. That thing lurking within the Holmes girl is no longer our god. This world uh -oh. no longer has a need for gods. Echel. That's true. That means. Face me, Shulk. Successor of Xanta. I'll crush the Bionis. Spread its ashes across the world. And I'll turn the Monado into dust. Only then will there be peace. Okay, so can we just get into this fight already? We need to like stop him. Basically just run up to him and attack him at first. Stay alive. He's not particularly tough. He is about on the same level as us, though. Charla is slightly higher. Is Fior and Ricky are higher level, but he's at the same level as my party leader, as Charla. So. Ooh, he's using an arc. That just used inflicted bind on a couple of us. I, that doesn't really matter. He didn't even land on Fior because he has that. Oh wow. Ricky can heal. Oh, I art seal. Are you kidding me? I got art seal on me. I hate art seal so much. It, my arts aren't even recharging. And that, in that attack, he creates another enemy. We have a vision. Bionis slash ten on my. So, infinity damage. We need to stop that. We have to do this. We have two minutes to take out the three energy devices here. Basically, you just want to get your entire party. Let's use Soul and James 1. Is 
song and music so I'm really angry. Doesn't look like it's not going to be doing too badly. Now that we're just try to get them to focus on these energy devices. They don't have that much HP, the energy devices can't do anything themselves. There very it should be no problem for any of you. For anyone. I think it will be Yaldabaoth will be dazed for a little while, so you want to get here as fast as possible. <coughs> I wasn't able to take advantage of it for that long, but he isn't doing anything. As you can see. He's finally getting back in now. So you want to get a bunch of hits off on him and deal with him really quick. So doing damage. So doing damage. And Egil and the has been defeated. Not so hard, isn't it? Isn't it? Skill. Incredible. Shock! Don't do it! And he cuts off the face of the neck of the face unit, not Egg Ill's How could this happen? Do it. Shulk realized that it isn't what he wants. Yay, Shulk. Sparing Eggle's life, okay. I mean, that's nice, actually, because we shouldn't kill people. Why didn't you do it? Killing me would have saved your world. I've forgotten all about that. Forgotten about it? I realized... That we both share the same pain. Egil, well, that's deep. I don't have any reason to kill you. Even if you do not, I still do. I know. But I won't do it. If you do not kill me now, my blade will annihilate every last one of your people. Even then. I can't kill you, but I can stop your blade. And I'll do it. Over and over again until... That's what the Mechonists did. We understand each other. Okay? That's what the Mechonists did in the original battle. Wow. You have so used the Nada well. 
so the cycle repeats itself. But do you honestly believe you are its master? Uh oh. Something bad is going to happen. Maconis and Bionis once well, lived in Well, we could have home. a cutscene. This is a long cutscene, just to warn you. They coexisted in peace. Without hatred or strife. Egil, why do you think we were born? Ah, philosophy. Alas. I'm not very good at answering such questions. You can never go to Have the area that they are it? talking in. Never contemplated it what does life exist. Beyond this world. Beyond this you world. can't go there, though. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish you could. Lady Mayneth once said that aside from the Bionis and the Meconis, this world is filled with nothing but boundless ocean. But what lies beyond that? We are still young. And unable to leave the Bionis or the Neconis, say goodbye to our creators, our world. But one day our descendants will. They will leave this place and depart for new worlds, worlds we have never imagined by strength of their will alone. Leave this place? That is something I have never considered. However, it would be a truly amazing sight. Hey, Gil. I wish to see that the people of Bionis and the people of Mechonis live in peace and harmony and take care of one another. I wish this for the future of our descendants. Yes. I too desire this. Arglas. Arglas? What? I thought that was Everyone Zanza. shared the belief that the prosperity of our two not. worlds would continue for all eternity. It would have done. No. Were it not for the Monado. I'm gonna go with Arglas. The Monado refused to permit the existence of the Maconis. Or rather, the existence of anything but itself. One day, it took control of my friend, Arglas. Oh. And he became Zanza. Okay, that explains it. It was Arglas, possessed by Zanza, who directed his sword at Maconis. So basically, Zanza is evil. Does being controlled by the Monado mean you will eventually become Zanza? The Monado is Zanza. So Zanza the Monado is, is evil. The Monado. The two are one and the same. In order to perpetuate the existence of his soul, Zanza inhabits beings of Bionis. But you appear to be different. What do you mean? I can see it. How well you retain the sense of self. Perhaps you can break the curse of Zanza. And was that not precisely our wish, Lady Maynard? I don't know much about any curse. For now, all I can do is this, Egil. And so we we're going to be friends with Egil. Live in peace again. This was good. Again. I see. Yes, you're right. And we've made peace. Bye. <gasps> no! Dixon? Dixon is here have now. Done that. Little brat. Uh oh. Looks like Dixon might be evil. And though I know this isn't a really long video, I don't think I'll have time to fin fit the rest of this stuff in before the end of this video. So, uh, yeah, next video will also have more features. I'll figure out how to split this up later. Alright. See you next time on the other side of the system, save.